Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this really mauve look. This look is for my girls who don't really want the bold colors, but definitely want something a little bit more done up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to put a little bit of Carmex on my lips because they're feeling a little dry. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. I'm going to be using the Salon Perfect Done in One Brow Pomade, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade Ivory, number 5. And I'm just going to put this on my lid so that I can kind of prep my eyelids for eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and set, and I'm just going to take my CoverGirl True Blend Powder and this Real Techniques contour brush just to set my eyelids. Now going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette, of course. I know I need to get another palette. I think Darian's gonna buy me one this weekend, so maybe I'll have something new for y'all. Um, I think today I kind of want to do like a pink look. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and put that in my crease. I'm just kind of like winking it out a bit towards the tape. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade right next to it and put that in my crease as well. And again, I'm just like winking this out a little bit. I'm gonna take my M441 and it does have a little bit of products left over on it, but I don't mind. So I'm gonna dip into this one right here, this third shade right here, and then put that a bit lower in the crease. And I'm gonna focus it more on the outer corner. And again, winging that out, but very low. And then just dragging whatever's left on the brush in the front. I'm going to take this e.l.f. concealer brush and it still has a bit of concealer on it as you can see. And I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer and just put a little on the brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting my crease. This is as far as I'm going to go with the crease. I'm not going to like do anything um, extra just because I do want to really darken up this outer corner. And um, I want to do like kind of a half cut crease with the glitter. So I'm just going to leave this like that and I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next eye. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go back into my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. It has like, it's pink but it has like gold reflex in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the shade Sissy, and I just think that is so pretty, and I haven't used it yet, so I'm really excited to use it. I'm contemplating on going, you know what, I am. Before I go into that shade, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my NYX Glitter Primer, just so that that shade can really pop, because I really, really like that shade, and I want all the gold reflex and everything, so I'm just going to start by going over where I laid that concealer down with my glitter primer. I'm going to take this e.l.f. Um, shadow brush, the name wore off of it, so I'm not sure which one it is. And I'm gonna go into that shade and I'm going to lay this down over that primer. I'm gonna go in with my E27 and I'm going to go in to, I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm going to put this on the outer edge and blend it into that uh, pink shade. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this like this for now. And I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera really quickly. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. I'm just basically going in between the two and building up, blending, and just doing that until I get the desired effect. So I'm just gonna end here. I'm gonna take my NYX glitter in the shade Bronze and just click that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some out in the lid. I'm gonna take the same brush I used to cut my crease, this e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm going to get some NYX glitter primer on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna dip into this like this, like a pencil or however you wanna describe it. And that's so that I get it right on that edge and so that I can go directly in and basically trace that crease. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can go ahead and lay glitter down right where I cut the crease. And the same place where I ended the crease is where I'm gonna stop with the glitter primer. Now I'm just gonna dip into the lid where I have the glitter just like that and I'm gonna start laying stamping the glitter over that glitter glue or glitter primer that's pretty much it so I'm gonna do the same to the other eye so my eyes are done I'm really happy with the way that this came out you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually, before I do that, I do wanna build up this brown just a tiny bit more. I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild brush because I feel like before I take the tape off, I want it to be a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna go in to this shade right here. Can y'all see that? Yeah. And I'm just going to place this at the bottom pretty much like close to my lash line and just kind of like bring it up the slightest bit but in a stamping motion so now we're going to go ahead and remove the tape oh i'm excited now it's time for foundation or actually i want to prime first i'm going in with my maybelline master prime so we're switching it up today we're not going in with the fit me instead i'm going to go in with my milani conceal and perfect and both of these are pretty much empty so i'm just going to kind of like get what i can out of here and i'm just going to go directly onto my face and the shade i'm using is 03 uh light beige i haven't used this in so long that i kind of forgot how much i like it so i'm just going to take my eco tool sponge and start pouncing this. Uh oh, that was a lot. Okay, so I'm just making sure that the foundation is all pressed into my skin. That's what I like to do with this foundation because it is, you know, on the thicker side. So to give me the most flawless look, I just like to really, really make sure that it's all pressed into the skin. Taking my Maybelline Fit Me concealer, I'm just gonna put this under my eyes to highlight. Put a little bit on the center of my forehead and my chin. And I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge because I like this one better for blending my concealer. I just feel like the Eco Tool sponge grabs at it weird and like lifts my foundation a bit. So I'm just using this one to blend that concealer in and to give me that sharp edge for my um, eye makeup. From here, y'all know the drill. We're going in with the Fit Me Loose Powder. And mine is in the shade 10 Fair Light. And I'm just kind of like pressing it into the skin because I find that that gives me the best effect. I'm gonna set right here by my nose because that part always like creases on me and my foundation starts to break apart right there. So hopefully by setting that that way will help. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my smile lines. 
I'm gonna take a bit at the center of my nose and just in between my brows. And I'm gonna go in my chin. Now I'm just gonna take my now I'm just gonna take my flower beauty brush and my CoverGirl uh, True Blend powder, and I'm going to set the rest of my face. Oh, I miss this foundation. Oh my goodness, I see why I love it. It's just, it looks so good on the skin, you guys. I wanna go ahead and bronze, so I'm gonna take my Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Dulce. I'm gonna take this Ruby Kisses Duo Fiber Brush. Ouch. I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm going to use this in my bronzer to contour my nose. I'm just gonna take my powder brush and go over all of that bronzer just to blend it in so there's no like harsh lines or anything. And then I'm just gonna go back into the hollows of my cheeks and Make sure it's not looking ashy in there. Now, since my brows kind of got covered up by that powder, I'm just gonna take my brow brush and just go back over them. And I'm going to brush the fronts of my brows to kind of disperse pigment through them. I'm just gonna take some mascara and go ahead and put some on my lashes. While I'm waiting on my mascara to dry, I'm going to put on a lip. I'm gonna go ahead and test the waters and I'm gonna go in with this Milani Matte Lip in um, a more matte, or it's called, an, it's called a more matte lip cream. So I'm going to actually let me line my lips today. So before I go in with my lip color, I'm just gonna go in with this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner and this is in the shade All Natural. Um, I mean, it's not bad. I think I'm gonna go over it with the gloss though. They won't transfer. You like my lips with my eyes? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know if it was too much or not. I'm gonna go in with these lashes right here. These are the Miss 3D Volume in the style M818. And they just look like that really wispy. While I'm waiting on that to dry, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline over top of this. I'm just gonna put on some bottom lash mascara. All right guys, so this is the completed look. Let me know what you think. I think it came out great. I'm really glad I went with the pink lip over the nude because I do nude way too much and this kind of like tied the whole look together. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.